Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's kind of late, and I have to work in about ten hours. I think. Yeah, it's about ten hours. I think. Um, had a long day today. Got a lot of stuff done. I actually had to go and buy me a pair <coughs> of uh, glasses. Because I don't know where my other pair are, and when I went to go see if my autometrist still had um, my contacts, they got sent back because I came like a month too late to pick them up. So, on Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm getting new shades. So, the day that I get new shades, I'm probably going to go get my hair cut. And, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to look completely different when I go to work and everyone's not going to recognize me. And some people, if you're used to seeing me with glasses, when they don't see me with glasses, they're like, whoa. And then the same reaction the other way around. But, um, yeah, so hopefully by Tuesday I get my new glasses. I'm sexy. Um, I decided to go for a pair that actually had, um, like the half frame. Because for the past couple years, I've actually worn, like, um, the frameless glasses. I'm just sick and tired of people always commenting on how thick my lenses are. Um, one, I can't help that I have astigmatism in my eye. So, it gets really annoying when people talk about my lens. It's like, I don't go around saying, oh my god, your lens is so thin. Or, oh my god, they're so thick. Like, it's just stupid. It's no different than, like, saying... Oh my god, is that a real tattoo? Like, it's just, it's just annoying. Um, so yeah, soon I'm gonna have a new, new glasses, then I'm gonna probably within like two weeks go in for a new eye exam and get that done. New eye exam, new contacts. I cannot believe my glasses with a discount costed me about $280, but I went to four eyes. And, um, the frames were only like $99, but because I have astigmatism, my, my lenses tend to be a little bit more expensive, especially with the treatment that I get with it. Um, I'm so used to paying like five to $700 a pair of glasses because I always get like name brands. It boggled my mind that it was so cheap. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm actually thinking about maybe getting a prescription sunglasses just in case I don't feel like putting contacts in my eyes because I like to wear sunglasses because my eyes are a little bit sensitive because I have astigmatism so I don't really like going out in the sun with uh, no sunglasses um, and in Florida it's mostly always sunny 80% of the time so yeah oh and it seems that I'm going to be going out to a club with some of my coworkers. One of my coworkers is actually my best friend, and she just told me that we're all going out. Well, not all of us, just four of us. So, I'm not really looking forward to it, because one, I don't feel like getting hit on by gay men, because I am not a male, and two, I don't want to go because one of my coworkers that's going with us is one of those confused little girls, well, she's not really that little, but she, like, acts like a little teenager. Um, I, she she kind of has a crush on me, I think, and I really don't like it because, like, a couple days, like, for a couple days, like, when I come to work, she'd be, like, ignore me and pretend like I'm not there. And I'm just like, okay, well, I'm not going to talk to you no more. So I stopped talking to her for a while. And then the other day when I went to work, she's like, why didn't you say hi to me? And I'm like, because you're being fucking rude. So she like gave me a hug. She's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Girls, uh, I just don't understand them. My other coworker, she's she's cool. Um, I keep forgetting to text her, um, and like asking if she wants to hang out and shit. But um, holy mackerel! I like my hair. I've been playing with my hair all night to figure out how to do my hair for work because I hate when it's in my face 
Because I always have it kind of like down and in my face. Or like that. Or something. So my hair is so long. It was so long that I showed my mom like how long it was. Like I made a funny picture and I'll show it to you. And like she laughed at me because it was so long. My hair is so damn long. Like it's so long that if I were to faux hawk it, it would just look so high and so big and I just don't like it so tall because I don't really do a mohawk. If I was going to do a mohawk, hell, my hair is the perfect length for it. But I just like to like fluff it, you know, and it's just too long. And then I have to put so, like so much shit in my hair just for it to like stay the way I want it to. But right now I have stuff in it so I can just play with it and do what the fuck I want with it and, and it'll just stay. <laughs> you see? I just don't have time in the morning to like do in my hair and going to work. And even though I have all the time in the world in the afternoons, I just, I, it's because I'm not trying to impress anyone, so, like, there's no point in me playing with my, I only play with my hair when I'm home alone. <laughs> and then I take pictures and send it to Trudy and make her laugh. So I'm going to end this rant. Actually, there's another girl at my job that stalks me. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I know that not everyone knows how to communicate with another person. Like, if you're gonna hit on me, at least do it subtly. Or like, not so ghetto-like. I mean, I know I live in fucking Florida, but shit, yo, like, don't be coming up to me. And like, if I don't see you, and I'm walking out the door to go on break or something, and you say some sort of comment like, oh, you ain't gonna say hi, and shit like that, or like come up to me and ask me weird questions that have nothing to do with me, just so like you can get my attention, like that's obnoxious. It's like, say hi correctly, or maybe start a conversation about something, like about work. Don't be like, oh, did you buy me something? Oh, was that for me? Like, nigga, I don't, I don't like that kind of creepy, stalking, flirtatious shit that you call flirting or whatever. I don't, it's just, it's just annoying. Like, I'm working. I don't want to get hit on by no one. Customers, coworkers, no one. I just want to fucking work. Now, playfully joking with coworkers is one thing, but being obnoxious and then getting an attitude because I don't give you attention and... And, you know, like, especially when I'm talking to one of my coworkers and we're making plans to hang out, like, first of all, like, I don't even know you like that, so you have no right to be, like, butting in my, my conversations. And on top of that, um, you know, having a stink-ass look and an attitude and be like, ow, oh, you, you friends, you know, to my coworker who's my friend, you know, like, come on, like, kind of grow up, like, it's kind of childish, you know, I, I don't deal with ghetto-ass bitches who don't know how to fucking talk, like, if you don't know how to just have a conversation, like, oh, hey, what's up, you know, my name is so-and-so, uh, how's work, you know, I don't even know your fucking name, you know what I mean, like, I just know the girl's name because of other people when I've explained who the fuck she is, and they're like, oh, okay, you know, like, I still don't even remember her name, even though I've heard it about four times now from other people, um, it's it's just annoying. Look at that. Look at that hair. And I don't like it. Please don't hit on me. Like, I just, I don't want to deal with flirting from anyone. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> just leave me the fuck alone. If you don't even know how to converse with me normally, like a normal human being, then don't bother me with this BS shit, because I don't, I don't have time for it. It's just obnoxious. It really is why you hate working with girls. Guys are no better. Guys will start asking me questions like, oh, what about this girl? How about this girl? Oh my god, what do you think she's hot? Shut the fuck up! You too! Males! I don't give a fuck what you think. I don't want to know what you want to do. Just shut the fuck up. Leave me the fuck alone. We can converse about other things. Don't bring up girls. Don't hit on me. 
don't bring up girls, don't touch me, don't kiss my shoulder, don't try and nothing. Just leave me the fuck alone, okay? Girls and boys, leave me alone. All of you, leave me alone, okay? <laughs>